Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Cast off line. Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. Good traveling with you, Corvo. You know what to do next time? Yes, yes. Pressure is too low. Hello, sir. Corvo, you're back! Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait! Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Alright then, let's go see Mother. Did you see any monsters while traveling to the other isles? My nanny says the big ocean's full of- Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They sent him all around the isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. She'll see you at once. While you were gone, Mother seemed very sick. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're... They're my citizens. Come with me. And we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo. Two days early. Full of surprises, as usual. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. What news have you brought? I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before. Knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. 
They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! <laughs> Thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Corvo! Emily, protect her. You're the only one. You'll know what to do, won't you? Corvo. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Peg him. Sign the confession, and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this, even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time. And someone has to take the fall. Goodbye. God! Take him back to his cell. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. execution tomorrow. It's on account of Corvo, the one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter, Emily. <laughs> so it's an account. 
occasion. Right. A social event for the high and mighty. Come see the someone there. Oh, 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 the solitary oh, wing is all oh, 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 unless accompanied by an officer of the wall. Escorts through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Before it gets to the camp, don't fall apart on me. We'll get the Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. out of the prison. I guess if you'll kill the Empress, you don't care about a few guards. Shut up. Let me stop. You let him stick out of here. Bottle Street gang, maybe. Watch for booby traps. Could be some down here. Good. Right. If I'm lucky, one of them will get Corvo. You're afraid of him? He's Sir Conan. It's all merchants and whores down there. Kids like you. I hope it is too.
bodies in the carts headed to the flooded district? Yeah, but screw that. It's too far. I don't want to catch the plague, do you? No. Doesn't the elixir prevent it? Maybe. Either way, let's just dump them down there. The rats. Don't get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take him out alone. What if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. Smells like a dead weeper in here. Not getting out this way on my watch.
here. Quick! I'm Samuel, and I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. They said you'd come out here, but I can still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. business half the district marked off is dead from the plague we're right under the lord regent's nose and he don't know a thing of course if anyone finds out what we're up to the watch will break in with swords drawn and now that you've escaped the lord regent's going to be tearing the city apart Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock, a true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered, but before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times. But his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you rest. Crafting your weapons and gear, all custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now the tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. Oil's unstable. When it explodes, there's a terrible mess. Shit. 
Academy it teaches that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure Perfect. In the cold now plug it in. I speculate. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to me. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Swing the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Sleep well. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead, her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the Outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we call magic, and now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me.
that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant me powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. What I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hobble it built from an old robo. Where does Admiral Adlock find these people?
Attention Dunwall citizens. Do not attempt to hound or care for a friend or Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer. Martin, he's one of us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession, before you became an assassin. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest? I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. Ready to go? Just give the signal. straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. Then there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I know which is worse. Just take your pick.
Dunwall citizens, this is a special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with re that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain... Stay hidden for long. Got you now. Take it. Someone help me out. Get up here in the river. second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Or is it the itching that really gets you? Or the rats? Jasper is... Guards, to me! Die! What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do, and I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. I have poor circulation and I seem to... <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal, his notorious black book, and get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerr now, and word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick me up in the backyard. Behind the office is a high overseer. It sounds painful. Have you ever seen the ritual? I've never seen the heretic's brand used. Guards, watch out! Your guards can't even walk there at night on account of Slackjaw's operation. The watch doesn't care about a few kids. Maybe the old. <laughs> The 
outsider can sit on the air. Go for it, please! Someone help me! Someone get me! Watch it! She's having trouble holding the side streets. Was it children playing games? That's all it is. Good, good. And your niece, Callista, isn't it? I'm very concerned about her. She'll be found. My men are searching district by district. The pool. <laughs> is a resourceful deal. Probably found a safe place to hold on to If my overseers hear any word, I'll come straight to you. Try more drinks. I hope you so this is pass on quicker. Did you get caught in the lockdown last night? Six hours. Search the place top to bottom. And nothing to eat but the swill we hand out free. Back to the beginning. Of course we didn't. With Martin's plot I have to, tell to you, break him out of Cold Ridge Prison. That's oh, clear enough. Guys. We can't move out to black magic. He had help, yes, but how far does it go? The trail goes to Martin, but Martin goes everywhere. Goes everywhere. everywhere. Ah! if I get another crack at this guy. Oh, no. 
knows what the man could do. Hi, Remo. Lord Regent, as he asks us to call him now, seems to have faith in all the Sokolov security devices he's put up all over the city, but I'm not so sure. At least the girl has been moved to a safe place. Visiting her twice a week has given me ample opportunity to inspect the facilities, as they say. So there's an upside, at least. Hey, Corvo. It's Samuel. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. Lock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect I want to congratulate you. My uncle's been killed, hasn't he? They're all corrupt. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent and all of his key allies. You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later.
every citizen's duty to report treasonous speech and actions. The state depends on you. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Did you do that? You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Corvo. I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before, and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Corvo, a moment if I may. 
I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside you last night and said... expensive. Hey, sweetheart. You want to play with me? What? Help me! Oh, no. Please help me! I know you're somewhere around here.
I'll find you, you hag. I need more. Watch it. Take that. Where did Morgan go? He's on the pro- That's what he said. He didn't get a good look. Did he say what he wanted? I hear he didn't say a word. But he went through the place like the outsider. No. He didn't fight play. He had discipline. Mark me. Get that mask on and you'll see a weeper. You know what I think? He's one of the guys. That's how he fought. Like a shadow. Who do you want me to be tonight, Lord Pendleton? Anyone you want.
Why are you wearing that mask? Corvo? Corvo, it's you! You're wearing a mask to sneak around, aren't you? They, they, they told me you were head chopped off and in the prison dead, like, like mother. That seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. It's this way. Prudence, the old hag. She caught me trying to get away. Now she keeps the key with her. You've got to find the key so we can leave. Come on, come to dinner now. That's right, my little sweet little birds. Come to Granny. they pay you? Stinking idiot. Where are you? 
Ready to go back, Corvo? You made short work of things. Get in. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh... Grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh. I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the Hound Pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it, then. Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Just climb aboard when you're ready. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin's Bridge. 
haven't been in the city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right, we'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. But now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole of Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Understand now. Curfew means ain't nobody allowed to be wandering about except us guards. Yeah, I know, I know. But if we do then what? Can we say something? Remind him about curfew? No. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Haldeman Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldman Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. the plague in this blasted curfew. How is anyone supposed to make a living? Well now, Mr. Pratchett. Even a wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats. <laughs> <laughs>
Jackson. You haven't been thinking again, have you? So... Uh, no, 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 sir. Not, not thinking. I was just wondering if Sokolov is testing a lift. So... Why is it he always asks for help of citizens? I mean, you follow my meaning, sir. You have no mind for natural philosophy. Here you. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Indeed, I believe so. Sister was. the city watch. Okay, where are you? I'm not sure what that was. Heard something. Hello? with a high heat. What? How did you get past all the guards? Your tattoo is quite unusual. It is reminiscent of markings I've studied on cave walls far from the city. Who sent you? Piero? That just fool. There's no need to be his lap hound. You and I can come to an agreement. One that I'm sure will please you more than anything Piero dreamed up. I'd say I'm surprised. I knew someone would come eventually. 
There's no need for violence. We can be great friends, you and I. Will you join me in drink? Sit and talk a while. Come. This is the future. Honey. Women. Whatever you want. There's much to learn from the stars. For those fluent in their tongue. I could consult my astronomical charts. Is there no reasoning with you? Before you do anything rash, I think we can come to an agreement. It doesn't matter who sent you. Whatever they are paying you, I will double it. Triple it. No. Well, money is not the only thing I have in abundance. position himself. You made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Set up a cell for soaking off in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. 
She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Calista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Dunwall citizens, the Ascendancy Circle has chosen T. Martin to be. I know it looks. I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers, shaped like snowflakes. Okay. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. Require my unique services. We can quickly return to my shop. I hope Sokolov will... I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo... You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Sorry, Sokolov. No. Not that. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know! I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle Estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes, you will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you.
I hear you're off to the boils little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. The royal costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me.